Hi, in this week's video I'm going to talk about image stabilization in the Canon M6 Mark II and in the Canon M50. Are there any differences between the two cameras when we look at the image stabilization? Let's find out. Hi, my name is Roger and welcome to my channel. On this channel I talk about cameras, videography and tech gear and if this is something that you're into please consider hitting the subscribe button down below and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you've been here before thank you so much for coming back. As I said in this video I'm going to talk about image stabilization in the Canon M6 Mark II and in the M50. But before we start comparing the two cameras up against one another Let's talk about image stabilization and what it is. Now, have you ever been out vlogging or shooting some video or taking photography and when you look at it afterwards, the image is kind of blurry, there's a little bit shakiness in the video. That's where image stabilization comes in. That's the way your camera helps you in order to make more stabilized video or to get that real crispy photograph. So basically image stabilization is different ways to remove camera shake from the image. And before we go into the comparison between the two cameras, I just want to say a little bit about image stabilization, where you can find it and in what way you can find it. First of all, you have optical image stabilization. This is stabilization that comes from the lens on your camera. So optical image stabilization, it uses a floating lens element inside of the lens, which is electronically controlled and shifts opposite to any camera shake recorded by the camera. Then you have in body or in camera stabilization. This is also known as IBIS and IBIS works in a similar way as the lens based image stabilization but here it will physically shift or move the sensor inside of the camera to compensate for any camera shake. Then you have electronic image stabilization. Here there are no physical element that's trying to compensate for the camera's shake. But what happens is that the camera crops in on the sensor and uses that extra space around the image or outside of the crop to move the image side to side or up and down in order to stabilize the footage or the image. And electronic image stabilization is what's in the Canon M6 Mark II and in the Canon M50. Now there are lenses in the EFM lens system that has optical image stabilization. So this will help you in order to get a more stabilized image. Now when you go into the menu system on these two cameras to find image stabilization settings, you have to go into the camera icon all the way to the left in the menu and then you have to go to the fifth tab. There you find IS settings. When you go into IS settings you find IS mode. Here you can choose to turn that on or off. Underneath IS mode you find digital IS. Here you can choose disabled, enabled or enhanced. Now when I planned this video I came to a question that I hadn't thought about before and that is you have two different ways in order to turn the IS on or off. You have the IS mode on and off or you have digital IS which you can disable, enable or enhance. And I came to wonder if the first IS mode on and off relates to the optical image stabilization that's in the lens so that you can turn that on and off or if it's just one main setting for the IS. If you know the answer to this question, does the first IS mode on and off relate to the optical stabilization that's in the lens or not? If you know the answer to that question, please leave it in the comment section down below. I would really like to know. As I said, you have two kinds of digital IS. You have enabled and then you have enhanced. The enabled crops in the image a little bit, but enhanced crops in the image 
a lot and that's because in enhanced you have more stabilization than you have in enabled. I have not really compared the two cameras. I had a little try outside just before I went in here because it's raining and for five minutes it stopped raining so I thought okay let's go outside and do this. So I, I have not looked at the footage after I shot it on the cameras so I don't know how it looks but here you go you can watch it and please let me know in the comment section down below which camera you think does the best job. Both the Canon M6 Mark II and the Canon M50 have image stabilization inside of the camera. The lens that I'm using today is the kit lens, the 15 to 45 millimeter on both cameras and the lens do have optical stabilization in them. But right now I've turned off any kind of stabilization. I have both cameras set to exactly the same aperture. They both have the same shutter speed and they both have the same ISO. So this is a test of both cameras using no stabilization at all. And this is me walking up and down. And the river is probably making a lot of noise. But I hope you can hear me anyway. So that's the cameras with no stabilization. So now I'm gonna turn on the stabilization and let's see what we got. This is me walking around with the image stabilization mode turned on and digital image stabilization is turned off. And I don't know if this has anything to do with the optical stabilization inside the lens, if that turns it on and off. But anyway, this is how that looks. Still a little bit shaky, maybe. So now let's turn the image stabilization on. Okay, so now we have the digital image stabilization enabled. And I don't know if that makes any difference at all. Still holding the cameras the same way. And the weight is getting heavier. But yeah, anyway, this is the M50. This is the Canon M6 Mark II. You tell me what is best. Okay, now we will try the enhanced mode on both cameras. Okay, now the enhanced mode is turned on and you can see right away that it, this gives you a much bigger crop on the image than before. And I don't know what you think, but is it any better? Sometimes I have to take my glasses off because the eye detection don't work as well with my glasses on. Maybe I should just make a video about that. But anyway, this is the digital, digital. I'm just gonna say DIS, okay. This is the DIS enhanced mode. What do you think? Is it any better? Does it stabilize the footage? I don't know. How's the stuff in the background? Is there any difference between that? Is there any difference in the background? Does it move any differently? I don't know, you decide. Anyway, now I'm gonna go back inside, finish the video. So which camera do you think did the best job? What image stabilization setting would you use when you shoot your videos or when you shoot your photographies? Please let me know in the comment section down below. So that's the video for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, give me a like. If you're new here and you want to follow me, please subscribe to my channel. The subscribe button is right down there and you just have to click it. And then when you do, please click the bell icon. Then you get a notification every time I come out with a new video. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate that. So that's it for me. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're washing your hands and staying healthy. If we all do our part, I hope we can turn back to our normal lives soon. Thank you for watching. Maybe I will see you in another video. Bye.